Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we're on episode three of our glorious little city in cities skylines. We have Factory Foot, we've got our industrial zone, and we've got Castle Farms up here as well. And today we're really going to focus on our residential demand, upgrading all the roads in this area and how we can improve traffic flow as well as thinking about our road arrangement for later down the line when we've got more traffic coming through this area and upgrading our housing and providing enough entertainment and services for all these people that live in this glorious little area. So, without further ado, let's get upgrading our roads. Firstly, I kind of want to upgrade this motorway once again and we're going to find a good solution to what we've got here fortunately this water tower is kind of in the way i'm happy moving it across to say like here i think it still looks good in that location definitely doesn't look out of place let's stick the uh it into our water grid so we've got water and what do we want to do down here i'm kind of thinking a large roundabout and having these two roads sort of come off it. We're going to upgrade this road as well. So that it kind of goes straight on through that way. And it's going to go straight across there. And we're going to have something special in that area there. Something unique. I'm thinking a university. That is my big plan. Having a big university campus on this spit of land eventually. So let's have a look at what we can potentially do here. Now it's hard to build a road about roundabout in vanilla <laughs> i do know this um but we're gonna try it anyway aren't we we're gonna try it anyway so let's come off there straight let's get potentially like that now what i want to do is this now, i wish i could go right in the middle of that but i doubt it oh you've actually not come off straight Ah, uh, well, let's try that again slightly differently. I'll be back in a second, guys, when I've worked this out. Now, this is what we've come up with in the short term. It's not the best circle in the world, but it's, it's not too bad either. And what I'm thinking is, what I want to do is have sort of a spine of a four-lane road going through this way, all the way around, all the way up to the industrial area. So we've got a nice, thick road that's going to do a lot of damage to the traffic in terms of keeping it in check the whole way through this sort of area. I'm thinking we bring it up to here. We'll also bring it maybe through this way directly. I'm not too sure, but we'll definitely bring it there. And then what I want to do is also upgrade this all the way down to there. Over here, it's going to be slightly different. So we'll get to that when we get there. For now, let's upgrade this road. Now that's the spine of this road done. And I think upgrading this to this type of road, it really doesn't make that much difference to the look. I think, in fact, if anything, kind of looks better now, doesn't it? With an actual road rather than the gravel. We're not in the farmlands. We are in suburbia, but we are not out in the sticks. Now this road down here, we're definitely going to have something slightly different. We're going to have a slightly larger sort of avenue road. I do quite like ones with bike lanes, but unfortunately we haven't up unlocked that yet. So what I am going to do is I'm going to build it with the bus lanes in it because, of course, we do want some lovely um, public transport going forward. So we're going to bring it off the road this way, and we're going to bring it through to there. And we're going to upgrade this the whole way down on this road. So here we are. We've upgraded it all the way through, smoothed it out slightly. So it's going to carry on all the way down there, which is pretty nice. We've got this four-lane road kind of acting as a bit of a main road through this region, around the outskirts of the region, taking us all the way up into the industrial zone. Now, in terms of the rest of the roads, I do quite like these four-lane roads with bus lanes, but I like the tree roads and the ones with bike lanes. So for now, what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, not upgrade these because you know, we're only going to upgrade them up to a two-lane road anyway. So I kind of want to wait for the trees and the bike lanes to really come in. But we do need to reattach 
this road over here. I have experimented with a couple of types of road. That's why you can see the uh, this road here. So put that back in and let's just attach it on the end there. Now, in terms of everywhere else for our connections, I think we're fine here. I'm fine with houses being on this main boulevard. I think that's quite nice having a few houses along the main boulevard as well. I think that adds quite a nice little effect. Uh, so first things first, let's get houses, maybe not right up to the edge, but let's get them along here, back in, so that these guys can start building again. Build, build away, my friends. Build away. I'm sorry we destroyed your houses. This should uh, get rid of some of the demand. I'm kind of thinking we leave the beachside by itself for now as a nice beachfront so that we can see out to our <laughs> wave power station out there as well. So I think that's quite good. Uh, the rest of those roads, of course, will get upgraded when we get the bike roads and all that sort of thing. But while we're here, let's unlock our next tile. 4,900 it's going to cost us. Now we have our access to this whole region over here for our lovely suburb. So first things first, let's get that big road over this way. Expanded all the way. A nice little curve. Like I said, nothing in this area is going to be square. We will have square things in another area, but not this one for now. And I'm wondering whether we have sort of a, a main road coming this way along the coast as well. But we will put that in in due course. For now, though, we are going to build a little bit around the factory. Build some nice, nice, like, curved roads around the factory that kind of become their own cul-de-sacs as well that kind of come off. I know it's kind of inefficient. But I think it just looks really nice. So we've got that coming off there. So I'm wondering if we bring a road off this way, you can come into there. So they can connect through that way. A bit of few spaces in this area as well. And let's uh, do a little nice spacious cul-de-sac in this region. Now in terms of our entertainment and everything for this area, what I'm going to do, we're going to build a sports complex over this way. In fact, I kind of wanted it in this space here. So maybe I've messed that up. So let's see whether we can build a bit of a, a, bit of a sports complex. If I get this road coming around this way and get it to connect onto the end there, let's make this area, let's designate this area over here an area in which we can fill with activities and fun things to do for all the local residents. So let's get the paths in. Of course, we always need the paths. I have disconnected a few of the other paths as well. So let's make sure that we're not disconnected in any areas. And let's stick this path in here. We're on straight, that's fine. Not too bothered about that. Let's get it on that one instead though. Uh, this path was destroyed, unfortunately. So let's get in there. There we are, nice. And there was this one not connecting anymore. So let's get you in there. This one's not connected either side now. I'm going to get you in there. I thought that was done then. Going nice. Very good. Got you. Any other paths that are disconnected right now? Looks like we're all good. Looks like we're all good. Fantastic. We could actually do with another path here, couldn't we? So let's go through that way. Unfortunately, these guys get the house deleted a bit, but it's okay. I'm the mayor. I can do what I want. <laughs> and while we're at it, let's fill in this little space here full of houses. Um, we'll leave it free on that end for now. In fact, no, let's fill it up. And let's press play and let's watch some of these new lovely European suburbia houses join in. We've got to uh, fill this area. We've actually not filled it yet, so some of these houses might get destroyed. I'm going to fill it all the way so I don't forget. Fill it all the way along there. Our European suburbia factory, a factory foot, if I can speak, uh, is a lovely little area, and it's going to fill that whole region. So let's watch them come out and go back in. Now 
those houses have all sort of replaced themselves and come in. That's pretty nice. I was thinking about potentially making this into a park, so let me know if that's a good idea, guys. Whether you'd like a park around this old abandoned factory, or whether we just have it there as a sort of a landmark behind these houses. It looks pretty cool, I think. It looks really cool. It would be nice to be a park, though, as well. But now we have mad commercial demand. So what I'm thinking is, if we take a road coming off here, as sort of a stem road, we're not going to go straight. We'll meander through around this way. And let's build a bit of a retail and um, a retail park, a bit of a park for commercial as well. And let's build our nice little area for ourselves. So let's go for the four lane road once again. So let's get that in here. And again, we're going free form. Let's get all of this on here so we know what we're doing. And yeah, and we can fill a lot of these areas with more houses, with more little cul-de-sacs. And in fact, if we look at the traffic right now, we really don't have any issues with traffic. This road is working an absolute charm. All the traffic is coming along it very nicely. In part because we don't have, you know, um, lights on a lot of these junctions, which is great. But it's really helping our traffic come from the motorway all the way along and round to our industrial area. And if they want to go this way, they can do. If they want to go the more efficient way, they can go through the toll as well. So lots of different options for our traffic to get onto the motorway and out of the city. So yeah, looking quite nice. So we're going to come through this region all the way around. Some nice little roads. How does the elevation look? Quite good. We will make the commercial zone quite straight and blocky. So, and we're going to come through these rocks. And we're going to meet it about there. We might turn that into a bit of a roundabout at some point. But for now, it's absolutely fine. It also doesn't have any lights on. So that's great. Of course, these roads should have priority. So let's get on the road adjusters. And uh, yeah... Let's, uh, yeah, let's make sure that road's a priority. So if I get off that for a second. Vanilla, yeah. Priority road. And we've got this road is a priority road as well. So they will get the stop sign there. So anyone coming through that way will get the stop sign. Then we're going to add in a nice little commercial zone over here. We're going to go back down to maybe... I think we'll go with the actual bus lane road for now. And we're going to go to straight lines for a second. And we're going to have a straight area in amongst all the curves. Which I think will be quite cool, honestly. It'll, it'll stand out. And we can make this our little commercial zone. Not, not terrible. And we're going to have a bit of a sports field area. At the back over here. So if we go onto our parks, we can also have a couple of uh, stadium stands, uh, hotels maybe in the future as well. These are all little uh, little things here. But we're going to stick this uh, football community football field. We are in European suburbia, so of course we're going to have a football field. We will also have a classic little cricket pitch. So let's go. We can go for the suburban cricket pitch, or we can go for the community one quite like the look of the community one so let's go for that it's got some nice paths around it as well looking very nice indeed no pavilion though which is kind of strange but no pavilion that's fine um, let's make sure we've got all our our water in place because we know how bad i am with that oh dear that's that's gonna hurt so many of you it may have not escaped your notice that i might be doing this slightly on purpose guys <laughs> Slightly. I'm sorry to all of you that that hurts, but it has to be done. It has to be done. You've got to come out of your comfort zone at some point, guys. <laughs> You've got to come out of them at some point. It has to be done. So we've got our uh, couple of... Uh, we've got our football pitch, which is rather small. It's got a little stand, though, and it's got some parking. We've got our cricket pitch. Now, what else do we want in here? Uh, what's that? Botanical Museum. No, thank you. I, w I was thinking another sports pitch. I don't think we have anything else in there. 
Uh, let's have a look. What's down this end? Yeah, it's sort of botanical gardens and stuff. What other sport could we have in this European? We don't want Aussie football. We don't really want baseball. I mean, American football... Yeah, could we fit that in? It's sideways, though. That's the problem. We don't want sideways. Uh, we've got cricket. Let's go for the American football pitch. No, let's not, actually. Uh, baseball. Nothing really will fit too well. So, yeah, that's fine. Let's have a look. What are hotels have we got? We've got budget hotels. We've got a town hostel. So I'm thinking we go for, a, you know, a couple of town hostels down here as well. Um, they don't, they won't have much, uh, you know, sightseeing and shopping for now, but we will upgrade that at some point. But let's go for, a, like, a tennis court or potentially the basketball court on the end here. It is quite small, though. I was hoping for something slightly bigger. Um, is there anything else? We've got the multi-story car park. Yeah, we will get that in there as well. Uh, what do we got here? We've got tourism and leisure. We've got a lot of new parks in here. So, Old Bridge Park. We've got a park with palms. Thinking just a nice park that fits in that area quite nicely. That's quite large. Sidewalk restaurant. Very nice. Very fancy. Sidewalk cafe. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Then we got city parks. Yeah. No park maintenance. We don't need to worry about that. Not pedestrian ones either. Is anything in here that normally fits in quite well? I mean, I was hoping for another sporting one. But I guess we'll go with that. What is that, though? The birthday plaza. That's quite ridiculous. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's go then instead with the sidewalk restaurant a nice little restaurant next to all uh next to the cricket pitch next to the parks looks like that's actually maybe connected as well so that's good we've got a nice little restaurant in here i do believe there's several variations we can go with oh that one fits in very nicely doesn't it then we've got that one they all fit in quite nicely let's go with that one i think that fits in nicely with the sport theme in this area very cool indeed. So let's uh, then get our roads going across. I'm going to fill this area with a bit of commercial. And actually, looks like we fit that in pretty nicely. And we're going to have paths coming across to there. So anyone in this region, if you want to drive around, you can do. But in terms of everything else, you're going to have to just walk, which forces them to walk, which I think is great. So let's go for the parking if we can oh where was the parking i thought it was on here not on here no where was that parking um was it on here no ah here it is let's go for the large parking in this region how is that gonna look though that's not gonna look great is it it doesn't look too bad doesn't look too bad. Multi-story decorative parking lot. No, I think it's a lot better variation too. It looks a lot nicer. Let's go. We've got the parking lot. We've got the sports field. We've got the uh, cricket pitch and the soccer field. The sidewalk restaurant. And let's get our first hotel as well. Nice little hotel. Town hostel in here for people to come and visit. Now, I'm thinking if we can squeeze it in anywhere, we will do. Doesn't look great being right alongside the, uh, the the car park. So I wonder whether it would be a nicer idea to maybe have a couple on this road here. And you're right next to each other. There we are. Very nice. They've got a lot of tourism. Uh, they don't have any shopping, any business, or any nature. Which is fine. Uh, Chirpa Hotels. Call them Red hotels there we are um and that's fine uh color we're of course gonna go red <laughs> so we've got the town hostels over here average popularity in the weekly profit and we've got 115 tourists in our suburban paradise right now that seems quite obscene honestly uh, but while we're here let's get these paths uh, connected up. So I'll have one going that way. 
I don't think you will fit, but let's get this one coming over this way as well. And yeah, we'll get another one just coming along here. So I think that's quite nice. You can walk across here. We're not going to put any houses in there either. And what we'll do is we'll fill this area with commercial as well. So it's a nice little commercial zone for people to come and enjoy. And uh, yeah, they can come enjoy themselves at the commercial zone. And it'll be surrounded by houses. We'll fit all that in there. And uh, yeah, we'll fill the rest of this area in houses. And I think it'll look fantastic. So let's get going. Let's keep going with the houses. And I'll fill it in and I'll see you there in a second, guys. So here we are, guys. And I'm really enjoying the cool shapes that we've got going over here. I think they look really, really nice and really fluid with everything else that's going on in this region. If we zoom out, it looks completely natural, doesn't it? Now, in terms of everything else, I definitely think we're going to make this into a park. A nature reserve park, likely. I know it's not really a nature reserve. It's a big factory. But let's just translate nature reserve into, like, historic park as well. Um, so it's not going to be, like, the greatest park in the world. But it'll be a park nonetheless. Uh, for the rest of this area, we are going to fill it with green. So let's get that done. I do believe we've got enough water and power and stuff over here but not 100 percent certain so i guess we'll find out eventually i'm happy putting these houses on the main roads because at the mo at this moment in time we don't have a huge amount of traffic and it's we're not going to have a huge amount of traffic in this area ever really unless we do something catastrophically weird or mad with this area to make it crazy busy but for now, I'm happy having strodes down the front here. Really not too bothered about that. Um, oh, better get you in, get you, and then let's get all this nicely zoned in here as well. Very cool indeed. I'm going to bring you up to there. And that's about right for now. They should all start building in. So let's go about building that park but I think what we're going to do, we're going to do that next time, guys. So we've made a nice little commercial complex right in the middle of the suburban area. Well, on the edge kind of at the minute, but it will be in the middle when we build along the front. And yeah, a nice little area with some sports park, some cricket, some football for anyone who wants to come and visit and play a bit of cricket, play a bit of football. There they are. We've got the people fielding out in the back and a nice little sidewalk restaurant as well for people to come and visit if they are visiting the football and the cricket pitch so guys i hope you've enjoyed please do like subscribe all that good stuff it really does help the channel out and i will see you all again on the next video